us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. to light your candles and please face the back of the cathedral. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day 
when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed him with exultation. So let us also, gathered together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to, to encounter Christ. There we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man, Simeon, the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us go in peace to meet the Lord. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, 
so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. You may put off the light of your candles. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like a gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Who is this King of Lord of this of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, or your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals. The King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely, he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had come to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go, go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the, in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your, pip, for your people, Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today's feast is also known as the Feast of Encounter, or in other terms, we also call it as Candle Mass. And usually, it is during this time that candles are blessed. But simply looking at the titles of today's feast would be enough for us to reflect on its message. We call this feast as the Feast of Encounter primarily because of our gospel for the day. It was an encounter between the Holy Family and Simeon. People would usually picture the prophet Simeon as an old man. Why? Because he is a person in waiting. He is waiting for the revelation of the salvation of Israel. And if we would picture the encounter between, between Simeon and Jesus, it was an encounter between a baby and an old man. An encounter between the young and the old. And as Simeon sees the infant, he also sees the bright future in store for humanity. But how often do we see this kind of encounters? We can easily see encounters between babies and grandparents. Kapag nakita ng mga lolo at lola yung kanilang apo, iba yung pakiramdam nila. Hindi na lang nila basta anak iyon, kundi kanilang apo. But how about the young people and the elderly? Do the young people still listen to the wisdom of the elders? And do the elders still see the hopes and aspirations of the young? Another important aspect of today's feast is the light of Jesus. Simeon proclaims that Jesus is the light to the Gentiles. And this is the key for genuine encounters, to be the light to everyone and to see the light that everyone brings. The moment we were baptized, our parents were given a lighted candle, a symbol of the light of Christ that we have received during baptism. But sometimes we forget that all of us baptized have that light. Minsan naaalala na lang natin yung kandila kapag ganitong panahon. Kailangan magpabasbas, kailangan may bitbit na kandila, kailangan may ipables na kandila. Baka nakalimutan din natin 
na simula pa nung tayo binyagan, binigyan na tayo ng kandila, binigyan na tayo ng liwanag. And we tend to showcase that light we have received. But at the end of the day, we are just mere small lights compared to the true light, Jesus Christ. Yung kandilang hawak natin, maliit lang yan kumpara sa liwanag ni Jesus. Pero kung alam natin kung gaano kalinaw at alam natin kung paano babasag ang liwanag na yan, gaano man kalaki ang kadiliman, pag pinagsama-sama natin iyon, tayo rin ang magdadala ng liwanag ni Jesus. But we must also remember the warning of Simeon that this light will be a sign of contradiction and a spear would even pierce the heart of our Blessed Mother. As we look at this warning, let us, look, let us also look into our lives. As bearers of this light, have we also felt the contradiction? Have we, have we also felt that spear piercing our hearts? Because as we continue to hold on to that light, there would still be others who would prefer the darkness. There would also be others who would try to put out that light. It will be our duty to make sure that that light would continue to shine in the midst of darkness. Today, we celebrate a feast. Not just the feast of Jesus being presented to the temple. It is a feast of encounter. It is a feast of lights. And when we look at those two things, hopefully we can, we can encounter that light that people would also bring. We could also encounter Jesus being brought to us. And when we recognize those encounters, we can give that light to others, especially to those who are in need of that light. Please stand. Christ shines as the light of salvation to all nations and the glory of his people. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who gave up his only son for us. For every intention he will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may show to the world the true face of Christ and be a sign of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in authority may render selfless service to society have the courage to speak and act in the name of truth and justice and bear witness to the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be inspired by the obedience of Our Lady and Saint Joseph to always observe the precepts of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that fathers and mothers may inspire their children to follow Christ by their own examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our beloved dead may go forth into God's peace and rejoice forever with Mary and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Lord, without you, we are in darkness. May your light shine brightly in us, that we may become in our own way reflections of your light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation, and with the angels and saints, praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.